So I'm at the Savile Row Concourse today, as you can see. Well, that's a new car, that's not a classic car. And actually, although that's a Monteverdi, looks like a classic car, that's actually also new as well. <laughs> so much for being at a classic car concourse. Okay, this is classic. And uh, this one, again, is not classic. That's a Mercedes Indestructibility. They call it the Guard, I call, I'm gonna call it the Indestructibility. That's definitely a classic, a 1907. Now, whilst I'm here, I thought I'd just address the, uh, a lot of people have been sending me messages and posting uh, comments about the fact that there is at the moment a, uh, uh, a consultation form that's available that the government has put out regarding classic cars and the classification of classic cars, particularly the classification of modified and uh, resto modded and uh, converted to EV classic cars. And there's been some speculation as to what is going on. Now, I don't know the details of it. I'm not in touch with anyone from the government. I have, however, filled the form in myself and it seemed pretty straightforward. It takes about half an hour. Anybody can fill it in. If you're a company, then obviously that makes sense. But individuals can also fill it in because they're canvassing opinions. Uh, and I think I would urge all of you to go ahead and do it and to fill it in and to express your opinions on it. But they ask you about several categories of classic cars, so existing classic cars, modified classic cars, and also conversions that have, you know, classics have been converted to EV and stuff like that. And I think what they're trying to do is actually it's quite a good thing that I think we should get involved in this because they're trying to establish what constitutes a classic. So even if it's a replica or it's a continuation, you know, should it get a chassis number, should it get certification, should it be allowed on the road? So a lot of this is the stuff that's covered in there. This is a Callum, that's a concept car, so that's brand new, that doesn't even exist yet. And so that's kind of what they're looking at. Now, I know a lot of people are worried, it's like, well, what is it about? What are they after? Are they going to change the status of classic cars? I mean, actually, if anything, this is one of the ways to get them to change the status of classic cars. I know that there's another petition at the moment about changing the classification of classic cars from 40 to 20. I have signed that as well. I shared that on my Facebook page. Somebody set that up. I don't think that will ever happen. I think they've already initially said that they won't change it. And there was a previous uh, petition. They said they wouldn't change it. So I don't think that that's actually going to change. However, I think that it's a good way of uh, starting that discussion. I mean, again, if that petition gets up to 100,000 signatures, then it means that they have to then discuss it. And that's important because at the moment, the 40-year cutoff for her historic classic, historic status, is actually wrong, according to FIBA, which is the International Federation of Classic Cars, um, which actually defines classic cars as being anything that's collectible over 30 years, and even has a category for young timers, which is over 20 years. So actually in the UK we are wrong to say that it's 40 years, it's actually 30 years and maybe we can get the government to look at it. So again with the with the form that's going around at the moment, the consultation about the classification of classic cars, I would, I'll put the link below, I would encourage you to go along and fill in that form. Like I said, it'll take about half an hour to 40 minutes to fill it in, so set yourself a little bit of time, get yourself a coffee, sit down, think about the answers and reply. But I think that it's a good opportunity to get our voices heard and to tell the government what we think are classic cars. I don't think that we need to be fearful about them reclassifying classic cars or anything like that at the moment. I don't think that's the case because that's a separate thing. Classic cars are already regarded as historic after 40 years. I think that's going to stay. Whether they might change rules around that, look at that. Whether they might change the rules around that regarding MOT and tax and stuff like that, well, you never know. I can't account for that. But it's about the, what is the status of a classic car, then that's 40 years old, and I don't think that's going to change. And then the other thing is about what constitutes a classic car. So, for example, if you say that you've heavily modified or resto modded a classic, so take you take a 60s Mustang and you put a modern uh, uh, Coyote Ford uh, VA into it, is it still a classic car? So I think it's those sort of questions. And again, if you convert it to electric, is it still a classic car? So I think these are the sort of things, and I sort of left my opinions on them, and I think you should do as well. So um, yeah, I don't think that we should be too concerned about it, but we should all get involved in it, and uh, we should all go and fill it out. So there you go, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Check this out guys, it's my book, it's my first novel and it's written for car fans like you. It's a fun political action thriller, it's full of cool cars and spectacular action. Get your copy now at Amazon.com. Shout out time guys, thank you so much. Hey, if you enjoy my content, why not get involved? Buy me a coffee, you can do that at either of these links. Or if you're watching on YouTube, buy me a thanks or take out a membership. It all helps, it really does.